Hey guys, Jake and Tellus here. So today I thought I'd do a very quick video on using clip gain type functions in Logic X on an audio region. So right here I have a vocal, which is pretty dynamic. And what I'd like to do is actually pre-processing, so before it hits any plugins or processing, I'd like to get the level a little more even before putting a compressor on or anything like that. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna split up the regions a bit and pretty much around here, let's just cut that with the marquee tool. And let's cut around here as well, the marquee tool. And now, say like, you know, if I wanted to change, you know, the automation, I could hit A and just draw in stuff or use the fader and write an automation to change a level. But I'd actually like to change it on the region itself, pre-processing. So let's go back here. And the first step, of course, is separating the regions, which I did. Now just hit I on your keyboard. And you'll get the uh, region information. Now, if you click the first region, you'll see that screen switches a bit and you have one for gain. So now on each clip, I can basically drag up and down on the gain right here. And you'll see the region changes as I do that, if you look at the first region. And now if I want to do the next region, you just hit the arrow to the right and same thing. And arrow again to the right, gain that down a bit. And again, arrow to the right. And let's game this up a drop. And of course, you know, you're going to want to hear what you're doing. But to me, for example purposes, this is a good, really good way to use a kind of clip gain feature in Logic. Um, I sort of wish that they had just like a little fader if I zoomed in and was able to drag up on each clip without moving to the other screen. But by using the arrow on the, you know, to, to go to the right, it's kind of fast and it's not, it doesn't take too long. So that's how I do clip gain in Logic X. Thanks for watching.